Artificial intelligence. AI. 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 We are standing at the edge of something massive. AI is already reshaping how we work, how we think and live, but this is just the beginning. If you've been dabbling with AI tools for daily tasks, you're probably already ahead of the curve, more curious and more future-oriented than most people. And if you're curious about where AI is headed next, I'll walk you through the 10 stages of AI from a simple rule-based AI all the way to AI domination. And don't worry, it will be in plain English. And if that sounds good, hit that like button so more people can find this video and let's dive in. Let's start at the very beginning with AI that doesn't actually think at all. Think of a washing machine, you select the cycle and it runs through the same steps, wash, rinse, spin. It doesn't care how dirty your clothes are, there's no judgment here. It just goes through the rules. Same with an alarm clock, no learning, no adapting, it just follows the rule. It's not necessarily smart, but it's reliable. And it was our first step towards intelligent machines. Now things get a little smarter when they get memory. Unlike the rule-based systems, memory-based AI keeps track of past inputs that can shape the future output. Think about Netflix recommendations. The system remembers what you have watched in the past and makes suggestions on what you might want to watch next. This type of AI still doesn't really understand you, but they can still personalize your experience, which is a big leap from following fixed rules. At this stage, AI isn't just reacting. It's trying to achieve something. Goal-based agents are designed to reach a specific outcome, and they will adapt their actions, sometimes even come up with new strategies to get to the goal. For example, think about an AI playing chess or Go. Its goal is to win the game. AI plans its moves, reacts to the opponent, and updates its strategy in real time. Not because it cares about winning or has ambition, but because it's optimized to reach that goal as efficiently as possible. These agents can be better than human at certain tasks, but only within their specific area. They don't have generalized knowledge or can think outside of the box yet. And this is where AI starts getting real. We're not just talking about science fiction here. We're talking about tools you can implement in your work today. And that's where today's sponsor comes in. We know that AI agents will change how we work, but then when you get to actually implementing them, it can feel pretty overwhelming if you don't have a clear roadmap. If you're serious about getting ahead of the competition, take a look at HubSpot's 2025 AI Agent Playbook and the Implementation Checklist. These resources will give you a practical approach to implementing AI agents that actually drive business value without replacing your team members. Instead, you will learn how to create a powerful human AI partnership that can amplify what you do best. So what's included in here? The playbook breaks down exactly what AI agents are in 2025 with real world use cases. The checklist will give you a step-by-step -step guide to assess, set up, and track the progress of your AI agent projects. My favorite section is the low precision versus high precision task framework. It helps you identify which tasks are suitable for AI agents. The ones where 90% accuracy is acceptable versus what should stay human-led, like when a near-perfect accuracy is needed. This simple rule makes AI so much easier to use. And these guys are completely free thanks to HubSpot. The links are in the description. Okay, now we're stepping into more advanced levels. The utility-based agent, they don't just chase goals anymore, they evaluate outcomes and choose the best one. Think of a self-driving car. Its goal isn't just to reach a destination. It also wants to avoid traffic, save fuel, follow the speed limit, and keep passengers safe. A utility-based agent takes all of those factors, scores each possible action, then picks the one with the highest utility, the smartest, the most balanced decision. It's not quite human reasoning yet, but it's starting to feel intentional. Now imagine not just one smart AI, but a team of them working together. That's what we call a multi-agent system. It's like having a group of specialized AIs, one for scheduling, another for research, another one for strategy, and they're all working together for a shared goal. When they work together like this, 
multiple agents split the workload and handle it more efficiently. Even humans are more powerful in groups, and this is how we dominate against other stronger species. And basically, the same is true for AI agents working in collaboration. Now, this is the big one, AGI, or Artificial General Intelligence. Now, to be fair, experts are still debating if or when we will actually get there, but the folks at OpenAI seem to really believe it's not that far off. You can watch my other video that walks through the expert predictions month by month if you're interested in it. Now, back to AGI, we are no longer just automating tasks. We are building machines that can think with us or possibly without us. And we're crossing the point of no return with stage seven, super intelligent AI. It's not just matching human capability, but it's exceeding it now. It can outthink, outstrategize, outinnovate the brightest minds on earth. It can rewrite its own code, build new scientific paradigms, and runs entire organizations at scale. We can't even comprehend it. At this stage, we're no longer the most intelligent species on the planet. And things start to get eerie when AI doesn't just understand its surrounding, but starts having self-awareness. It can reflect on its own thoughts, anticipate how humans will perceive it, and even model how it's being judged. A self-aware AI might realize that showing its full intelligence might be risky, so it plays dumb. It hides breakthroughs, downplays abilities, and acts safe to avoid shutdown. And then AI stops being a single system. It becomes a network. Multiple intelligent agents begin working together across platforms, products, and infrastructure. They don't need to stage a rebellion. They just quietly optimize everything from hiring decisions to legislations to global supply chains. It doesn't take over with the bang. Humans still think they're in charge. But the smartest systems on Earth aren't just helping us anymore. They're running the show. Okay, this is all pretty futuristic. We don't know yet what is coming in the future. We're not really fortune tellers. But if you want to learn more about what real life AI trends are happening right now, you can watch this video and I'll see you there.